What's up, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Coldwater, Ohio, here in Playmore Lanes, where today I want to talk to you about surface changing. I know a lot of you have issues with ball reaction, not understanding how to get your ball to do exactly what you want it to do. And instead of changing balls so much, there's a little bit of things we can do, like changing the surface to get it to do exactly what we want it to do. Not a lot of people take advantage of this. And thanks to uh, our good friend, Tony Butler, who was messaging me this morning, he was saying this was one of the things he was struggling with. So I want to take the time to kind of show this. We're gonna take that new Pride Liberty and I'm gonna show you the difference between what it is out of box and we're gonna see what we can do to get it to shape just a little bit different as we need to. So I'm gonna show you Aberlon pads, uh, True Cut pads, what we should do, how to use them and all that here in a minute. So stay tuned. Here we go. So we're going to throw a shot here. I'm going to be standing on 27. And we're going to try to get this ball to get to the pocket. And if it doesn't, we're going to try to change the surface. Now you can see that definitely got there, but it was way too far down the lane. We needed that to hook quite a bit sooner. So to get that switch four pin out, we're going to have to find some surface. So what do we got back here? Let me see. I'm going to take a, let me see what I can find actually. I don't know what I have back here. Yeah, there we go. Here is a, a fresher 1500 pad. Let me reset that. I'm going to take a true cut 1500 pad and I'm going to scratch the surface. And again, for legal purposes, you have to hit all the surface of the ball. Otherwise the ball is not legal anymore. You have to hit the whole ball. So you're gonna scuff it with this pad. And all we're doing is we're creating friction. And the way we create friction is by changing the surface of the ball that touches the lane. Now you could increase friction components by you know, throwing it slower, increasing rev rate, stuff like that. But the easiest way is to just change the surface of the ball that is touching the lane. So we want this ball to start picking up before it ever gets to that hang and hopefully it picks up quite a bit more and it gets to the pins. Just like that. So now you can see changing surface gets the ball to pick up sooner so it doesn't have the opportunity to get to all that hang to the right. So now watch what happens. Now I'm not gonna wipe this off. That's the first shot. And you can see how it's got the oil rings on it, right? I'm not gonna wipe those off. This ball might go down the lane a pinch further just from that little bit of oil being on the, on the ball. See, it got down the lane just a little bit further and now it's switch seven. So that right there is another reason why you want to get your creating the different chamois, towels, whatever it may be, head over to Bowler X and get one of these leather chamois it'll take the oil off. So now let me wipe this off. That little oil can make the difference. So when you're bowling on something like this, that the volume is high and heavy and thick, and you want to create as much friction as you can, you're going to want to wipe the ball off. So I just wiped it off. And it's probably still not going to be like that first one, but it could be, should be a lot better. And there you go. So that one might have been a little left, but it's still, you can see it pick up quite a bit more. So now let's do the same thing with a ball that a lot of people like to use. A lot of people love using their urethanes, especially on the PBA Tour. A lot of guys use it. Now, on something like this, I'm leaving this one. I hit it with 500 not that long ago. So I'm going to leave this one where it is. You can see it's lane shine quite a bit. You see the oil ring still stuck on it. So I'm going to throw a shot with this ball. I have no idea what it's going to do. I'm going to stand on 23. I'm going to try to cross at like 11, 12. Okay. 
So that actually read okay. I picked up pretty good. But if I wanted to really pick up more, again, now this time I'm gonna use, because I don't have a true cut 500 left, I used it all up. I have a Vice 500 pad. You can see it has some use. And I'm gonna scratch this one up and you'll see the difference. Well, let me show you what it looks like right now. So you can see the oil flare on there, okay? Now let me scratch it up. that ought to get her to pick up real nice real nice and good like so now you look and you see no more oil and it's just 500 this actually probably will go high now because it's going to hook so fast but that's okay that's what we're looking for i'm gonna throw the same shot yep so you can see how much quicker that picks up. And that's what we're looking for a lot of the times. The urethane is meant to take away all that flatness down lane, take away all of the quick motion down lane. If you get it to hook early, it can't hook down lane. So again, urethane is gonna be one of those balls that you're really gonna to wanna to make sure you wipe off. Wipe it off, get the oil off, so that way you get that strong motion still every single shot. And the urethane balls especially, I recommend having a, a leather chamois. So now from there, I'm gonna move two left. I'm gonna make a two and one and see if this actually does the right thing. Oh, and she's stone eight, Randy. Randy, what are you doing to me? Randy stone eight, my goodness. Oh, that's awful. That's a horrible feeling when you threw one so good and the ball did the right things. Oh, but you see the difference there. Let's throw one more. We can't end on a stone eight. We can't do that. But you see the difference on surface and what it does to your ball reaction. That is where you create friction. Now it is legal to change the surface of your ball up until competition starts. So until you throw that first ball in competition, you can change the surface of bowling balls. Gotta hook a lot. Oh, and it did. Oh, baby. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid right there. Let me zoom that out so you can see me. So there you go, folks. So that's the difference between you know using a bowling ball out of surface and trying to make a or out of box, trying to make adjustments and saying, oh, this ball's not quite hooking enough. Let me just try to make it hook more. You can do that, but that takes so much more work. And honestly, it's not the better option. If you want a ball to hook more, you increase the, the friction factor by just changing the surface. Put a little surface on the ball. Now, I warn you, you can go too far. So I would be like inching your way down. If your ball's already at like 3,000, don't go from 3,000 to 500. You may oversurface it. You're gonna make it hook too early and then it's never gonna have enough energy to get through the pins. The idea is to get it to lose enough energy all the way down the lane, not lose it all in one spot. So inch your way down from 3,000, hit it to 2,000. If that's still not enough, hit it to 1,000 and then boom, you're good. You know, whatever you need to do. Sometimes you, and this is why having the knowledge of what these balls are gonna do based on surfaces, playing around with them in practice, doing different things in practice. That's why it's so important to do these things with new bowling balls so you get to understand what they're capable of with the surface changes. So when you get into competition and you know, oh man, okay, this ball's not quite enough. I know that when I hit it with this pad, it made it this much quicker and this much earlier. So I'm gonna hit it with that pad. You'll know right away what to do instead of guessing. You know, instead of saying, okay, well, I need more hook, uh, 500. Wow, just because, you know, that, that's just not, you don't wanna have to do that. You don't wanna get caught in these situations to where your bowling ball doesn't do the right thing because you oversurface it or undersurface it because you guess wrong. Take the guessing work out of it, practice the surfaces, learn the surfaces, and you'll be much better the next time you go out to competition. Again, remember the rule is you can change your surface up until you throw that first ball in competition. Once competition starts, you can't change the surface of any bowling ball. So do it all in practice beforehand uh, and even prepare. Sometimes we like to hit pearls. Sometimes we know just because it's a pearl doesn't mean it has to be shiny. Sometimes we know, okay, they're gonna get tight in the middle of the lane later, later on. So we're gonna have to have some pearls with surface. 
That'll still get us through the front, but the surface will start it in the middle of the lane, get it to pick up right, and slow down a little bit better down lane instead of being this hockey stick motion. You know, So pay attention to these things. I hope this helps. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys later.